Helpful testing hints. There is no time limit to finish the test. If you need to go away from your computer, select the pause button. Select the resume button to continue. If you are away from your computer for a long time, you may need to log back in. Select the help button for more information. Now, select the next arrow to go to the next page, completing the test. You will receive a message indicating that you have completed the test. Select the exit button and then you will be able to exit the test. Now, select the next arrow to go sample questions. Sample questions begin on the next page. Select the begin the test button to see the first sample question. Remember, the sample questions are a good opportunity to see different item types and to practice using the tools that may be available on test day. Okay, so once you get into the actual training, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to read through the questions, but also make sure you practice some of these um, things up on top. So for example, I could use a highlighter. A pencil has a mass of 25 grams. An apple has a mass that is 75 grams more than the pencil. What is the mass of the apple? Okay. Um, remember, you can make it bigger. You can use your pointer. Um, the line guide might help you read. So the line guide you can see is right here, and I could use that if that helps you to read, especially on longer ones. So you're going to figure out your answer. You can use scrap paper, too. Always you should use scrap paper on these type of tests. Once you have your... Um, answer in. So I say 25 and then it's 75 more. So I know 75 more than 25 would be 100. I can give you that first one. I'm going to put my answer in and I'm going to click on next. And it's just telling me that once you go to next, you can't go back and forth. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm not going to really do this one. I just want to try to, actually I don't want to show you wrong answers either. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I wanted to show you one here that I think the line guide might be helpful for is when you're doing graphing because you can slide that down and you can figure out exactly where they line up to, especially if they end up falling in the middle of two numbers. So that's one time when you might want to use that um, line guide. This is another question I wanted to show you on the sample because remember when we did our practice on EdSight, this question did not work. Well, on this one, it does. So I want to show you, you'll just click in the dots like that, and then you can change your dots to a line, and you can draw. So you can draw different shapes, okay? And then you can use your eraser to start over. Um, so that's how you use this, and you just use your fingers to put in those dots and lines. Here's another example of when you might want to use your highlighter. So you might want to say like there are 425 boys and 510 girls. How many more girls than boys? So then I'm going to think back to those operations. How many more? I'm going to think about what kind, what operation that is. I'm going to already have my two numbers highlighted. So then when I, after I read it and I go back and I reread, that'll help information jump out at me. Here's a question that has lots of parts. This might be one where you want to use the line guide to help you read carefully. And it might also be one that you might want to have a sticky note on this one because you've got so much information, you could organize your information on a sticky note. So your job today is to just go through and take this practice test. And while you're doing it, think about how these tools might help you and maybe how they might distract you because not every tool is helpful on every problem. So your job is to figure out when the tools would help you and when they would distract you and to practice taking the M-STEP test.